Um, hello, my name is Max Stengers. I'm uh, with the Dynamic Coalition on an Internet Bill of Rights. And um, as Bertrand just mentioned, we are thinking of merging with another um, Dynamic Coalition on Frameworks and Principles. And in that context, we are thinking also to rename ourselves to be the Dynamic Coalition on Internet Rights and Principles. That's just as an introduction, so when you see a new name, that um, this is the background. I wanted to make some comments on um, the procedure and then um, one important point on substance. Um, I, what we heard in our session where we were in sort of trying to do a needs analysis, asking all the different dynamic coalitions how they can mainstream human rights in their work. Um, we heard some interesting points, in fact, from uh, Peter Helmons, um, who expressed, am I speaking in my own capacity or am I speaking in the, um, as a representative of Siemens? And I think this is an ongoing problem that we have with the multi-stakeholder approach in the dynamic coalitions. Um, we found the um, solution to say um, we have government representatives as full active participants, and so they can speak by them, uh, for themselves, but obviously we have this connection to government. So this is how we want to move forward. But I think it would be very helpful if the Secretariat could find ways to um, standardize, quote unquote, the, the way that um, the uh, private sector representatives and government participate in the dynamic coalitions. I um, want to um, second um, Bertrand's um, uh, suggestion that I think is great to have round tables with, um, that are, again, um, output focused. So there's results coming out of the dynamic coalitions. There's results coming out of these expert groups sitting together and working. And also in that regard, uh, it would be very helpful if um, uh, the dynamic coalitions could work with the secretariat to look um, what kind of formats and uh, documents um, are you reasonable in this um, regard. And um, lastly, a point on substance. Um, the Italian government has kindly offered to um, host a, a midterm meeting in between the years where we can uh, discuss uh, rights and principles in the context of the internet. And um, I think that will be uh, good to produce some uh, input for the next year's IGF. And in that context, I would uh, like to ask uh, Mac and the organizers to consider um, how we can give rights and principles an adequate format in the form of a main session or as naming it as a key theme of next year's IGF. Thank you. Good day. And was, was, did somebody here want to go? Thomas. David Apasami from City Technologies. At the outset, I'd like to reiterate what everyone has said about the level of progress that we have seen at this IGF and the maturity of the exchange that's been taking place in the workshop. But I submit to you that we seem to have reached an inflection point for the IGF process itself. We've been through three IGFs and for us all to meet physically like this, there are limitations. And that means there are a whole host of multi-stakeholders out there who are not included. Therefore, it was wonderful to see what was happening in Europe and LAC and Africa in terms of regional IGFs. But that really is the way forward, so that it becomes a groundswell of movement across the world, which then feeds into the IGF here. That's one point I wanted to make. The second is that uh, governance of the internet is dynamic by its very nature. So the IGF forum as a platform for exchange is very, very valuable. It is not a forum where we take finite decisions, but where we exchange and carry back to wherever we are, implement or execute. The internet by its nature as it evolves is going to lead to many more demands in terms of how it is governed. And this forum and the movement that it unleashes across the world will be the dynamic response to those demands. At least this is what I believe. So really the journey is the destination and not any kind of a resolution that we take at any point of time, but in the learning, the exchange and the implementation. The last point I'd like to make is that given the nature of this, it's time that we use the IGF website itself as a platform for exchange. So that as this moves as a movement across the world at national and regional levels, they can feed into that site as a platform, can discuss, can post success stories, and so on and so forth. So when we come back here together, it's that much richer. Thank you.